All right, welcome everybody. This is Mr. Storm, and this is a walkthrough for Microsoft PowerPoint Exercise 1. If you aren't in class on the day that I go over this, or if, let's say, you got a little bit lost in class and you want to finish this up at home on your own, these instructions should be able to walk you through the whole thing step by step. Now, there's a lot to do in this assignment, um, but it shouldn't be too much work. Uh, you should be able to figure it out. But again, this video is a backup just in case you need a little extra help. All right, so the first thing that my instructions tell me to do is to download the Exercise 1 starter, the bullying vid, and the bullying pick, which I've done all of that. My Exercise 1 starter is here. It's open. Uh, I've downloaded the bullying pick and the vid right here. So those are ready to go. Um, and then I want to save my workbook as last name exercise one. This is really important because a lot of you are still turning in assignments that are that's that have the same name as the starter. And it, you need to make sure that you save your work specifically your last name exercise one dot XLSX. Because if you don't, then it's going to be hard for me to determine whether or not you actually did the work that I'm asking for. Um, it, it's just part of the instructions. It's just uh, a little bit uh, attention to detail will definitely go a long way. So file and save as. And in here I can save it under, you know, I already have a storm exercise one. So I'll make this Mr. Storm exercise one. So I don't overwrite those changes. Uh, Mr. Storm Exercise 1 and save. And up here my name changes or the name of the file, excuse me, name of the file changes. So now I can see that this is my version of the document. I'm no longer making changes to the starter, which is what I want. I do not want to make changes to the starter. I want to make changes to my own specific version. And the best part about it is once I do that, I can save I can just click the little save button anytime I want to save whatever changes that I've made. And I'm going to remind you to save your work periodically as we go through this assignment. All right, so all that stuff's done. Now we want to start working on the actual slides. So we have our title slide here. It's slide number one. So slide number one, I want to insert a slide number and a footer with the title and your name to appear on every slide. Well, insert is my keyword here in this uh, right here. It tells me exactly what I'm looking for. So insert. So let's go to insert and we can see, well, because my screen shrunk down, insert slide number is a little bit smaller, but if I maximize my screen, I can see slide number right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I want to insert a slide number and a footer with the title of the slideshow, bullying, and with my name. And it's going to show me that it's going to put the stuff down here for every slide. I'm going to click apply to all because I want it to go every slide. Now I can see I have bullying Mr. Storm. Uh, please don't bully Mr. Storm. Uh, bullying Mr. Storm and slide one and slide two and slide three and slide four. So it has it on every single slide now. That's exactly what we want. Oh, let's go back. Um, I want to add a design. So again, a keyword here is design. So let's go to design. And now I can pick a design that I think looks best for this slideshow. Let's go with something that's a little bit more, I don't know, upbeat. Eh, it's a little bit busy. I don't necessarily like that. And eh, that's a little. Let's do. Sure, why not? I, eh. Let's pick one that looks nice. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of picky when it comes to the to the designs of these things. Ooh, let's go with this one. That's one of my favorites. And it makes it seem a little bit more important, obviously. All right, so that's the design that I'm going to choose. In the subtitle, I want to type presented by and then your name. So presented by Mr. Mr. Storm, not Mrs. Storm. And then I want to change the font and the font color of my title. So up here I've got my title, bullying. I'm going to change the font. So I'll change it to something that stands out a little bit more. Oh, I can do bullying. That's hard to read. Let's do... Let's see, I've got a, a serif font there. So let's do a nice sans serif font. 
Although that's exactly the, yeah. Fine, we'll just go elephant. So it's a different font. Yeah, whatever, you get the idea. And I wanna change the color of my title. So I'll make it this cool dark red to make it kind of match that stuff. So bullying. So slide two, so that's slide one done. Slide two, I want to insert a new slide here. So I can go right click and go new slide. Now it put it underneath slide two and it made it slide three. That's not what I want. I want it to be the new slide two. So I'm gonna drop it in there. So now my blank slide, the slide that I just entered is slide two. I'm gonna change the title to cyberbullying. And I wanna insert the, the bullying vid.wmv and resize it so it takes up most of the screen. If I look here, I have this little insert media clip thing. I can click on that and it'll have me look for videos that I wanna insert. Let's go to my exercise one and we'll go with the bullying vid and we will insert that. Now it's gonna take up a good chunk of the screen but I wanna make it even bigger. Okay, good. So now I have a video and when I present the slideshow, it'll actually play. Yeah, I'm not gonna play it now, but um, that'll actually play. And then I want to set it to play automatically. So if I go here, oh, let's see, video tools, uh, format, and actually let's open this up a little bit. If I go to playback, I can go start on Instead of on click, I want it to start automatically when I go to that slide. So that's what I'm looking for. All right, so that'll start automatically. So that's slide two done. Let's go to slide three. In slide three, I want to tab in the last two bullets so that they are a multi-leveled list. So the last two bullets here, so I have one, two, three, four bullets. I want to tab that in so that it becomes a multi-leveled list. So these two tabs, or these two bullets kind of are nested inside of this bullet, okay? I wanna change the layout to two content. So all I have to do is go over to the slide and right click and go to layout and two content. So now it's two content. So now I have my text here and then I can add something new here. And I wanna insert the bullying pic JPEG into the second content box. So again, I can just click on the little picture and let's go to desktop and insane. Why do I have a picture of insane clown posse on there? Anyway, uh, must have been some joke that I don't remember. All right, bullying pick. So click that and insert. So now my bullying pick is right there and it's ready to go. And I'm going to add a style to the picture. I'll add that looks good rounded rectangle with a nice reflection. Um, Animate each bullet point with an entrance. Oh, I hate these. All right, so animations. If you watched the previous video, you know that I really don't like animations at all, but we're gonna do it anyway. So to animate each bullet point, all I have to do is select each uh, bullet itself and add an animation. So let's do, uh, I'll just have it. Do I, no, no. Yeah, we'll do float in. Why not for each point? Have it float in. Float in. And each bullet point. Again, we just select the text that we want to apply it to. And then select float in. Looks good to me. And I want to add or animate the image with a pulse emphasis. So I'll grab that. And then we want to animate that with pulse. Let's see, pulse, okay, beautiful. Um, again, that's whatever. So, and it shows me here that when I click the first time, it'll, that will pop up, that will pop up, that will pop up, that will pop up, and then number five, that will pop up. Okay, cool, done. Let's move on to slide number four. All right. So now I wanna change the layout to two content for slide number four. So again, go here, layout, two content. I wanna insert a pie chart. So I'm gonna insert a pie chart over here. Now, if I go to insert chart and click on it, I can choose pie 
and I'm going to do, yeah, I'll do the 3D expanded pie. Why not? Now it's going to open up Excel because, again, this is a pie chart. And I want to enter in my data. Oh, let's enter my data just like this. So verbal, verbal 40, and I'll change this to types of bullying. Uh, the second one, physical, and we'll add cyber. Physical is 20, and cyber is 60. And we'll get rid of these because we don't need them, and we can actually grab that guy and bring it up. Okay, so now we're good. Let's check to make sure that that, yep, so types of bullying. Change the chart layout to layout one. Okay, so let's go um, click on this guy right here and oh, where is it? Maybe it's, oh, chart layouts, here we go. Layout one, so there we go. I probably should have kept it at um, Actually, let's change our chart type, make it this. So there we go. So now it's a little bit better. And this I'm going to make just a little bit bigger. So, oh. Come on. Make it. All right. Anyway, whatever. I'm going to I'm done messing with it. Um So, that's my chart. Cool. And then I want to change the chart to style three. So I'll go back to the chart, go to design, style three, right here. So now it's style three. Okay, slide five, getting close to the end here. So I want to do a search in online pictures for bully and then choose a relevant picture. So insert, and this is pictures from file. Um, I may not have, let's see. Do I not have the options for? I know in 2016, in the new version, uh, 2016, you guys have um, options for online picture, but I apparently do not. So let's see. Maybe it's called photo album. Nah. Oh, well. Anyway, up here under picture you would or by picture you would see one that says, you know, online picture or whatever. Uh you would type that, you would type for that, look for bullying and then uh add that in. So that's easy. Um then resize the picture and add and the text box so everything fits, add a new bullet at the bottom and type learn more about bullying. That's easy, we can do that. All we have to do is hit enter, it adds a new bullet learn more about bullying and then I want to hyperlink it to the following website all I have to do is select the text here and click hyperlink and then it's going to give me this confusing looking menu but it doesn't really have to be confusing all I have to do is make sure I'm looking for a web page um, and then I type in the web address HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash uh, www.stopbullying.gov forward slash what hyphen is hyphen bullying and click OK. And then it turns it into a hyperlink. I want to insert an arrow shape. So let's go back to shapes. We'll grab an arrow. I want to insert an arrow shape. And we'll put them over this way here. Actually, Let's rotate them around. I want them to go that way. Um, and I want to type in, oh, because he's upside down. Now we'll rotate them back the, the other way. And we'll type in home. And move them over here where I had them before. And I'm going to hyperlink it to the first slide. So I'm going to go to action. And on mouse click, I want to hyperlink to um, first slide and click OK. 
Now I want to finalize my slideshow. So I'm going to add a transition to every slide. And again, like I told you, I really don't deal with transitions very often, but I at least want to make sure that you guys know how to use them. So I'm going to select all of my slides. I'm just going to click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one. So now I have all my slides selected. Go to transitions and we can choose a slide transition that we like. Um, clock, honeycomb, blinds. I mean, they're all kind of dorky looking. Uh, let's do ah, whatever. Let's do gallery. Gallery is cool. We'll do gallery. That's fine. So now I've added a an effect to all of my slides. Um, present your slideshow, make sure everything works properly, and then save and then turn it in. All right, let's go ahead and save it first right now because we've made some changes. I'm going to go through the slideshow step by step and make sure that it looks good. So go back to the first slide and present. Bullying presented by Mr. Storm. All right, that looks good. That plays automatically. So that plays automatically is what we're looking for. Uh, next slide. And notice that my picture's already here, but none of the other things are because we added um, animations to those. So when I click, oh, I must have clicked twice on that one. But when I click, they fade in. And then the final click makes that kind of pulse. All right. Bullying can be all of these things. Click again. And then I get my last slide. And I can click this to take me to the website, learn more about bullying, and it takes me where I want it to go. Good. Let's go back. And then also I can click on this and it takes me back to the home slide. So everything looks like it works properly. And there you go. Now yours probably won't look exactly like mine because you're gonna pick um, you're gonna pick a different style or what have you, um, and that's fine. Uh, any of these designs are, are okay. Um, all of them look pretty nice, so it's just up to you, whatever you want to pick. But whenever you're done, save your work and turn it in on Google Classroom, and you are finished. Oh, I like that one, actually. I think I'm going to keep that one. That looks pretty nice. Okay, cool. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out.